as after a long time I am posting the video now you can see that today I will discuss with you how to size the basin size for the rectangular ejector or some basin size who are in uh, wet surfaces they will find it useful for this so here the same procedure this is from table 6.2 fixture unit per fixture or group it is from volume 2 asp 2004 design perfect design you have all the types of fixture you fixture dishwasher dental laboratory dental unit of cup c door you can enter here whatever you want for example i enter this four and this two make it zero so anything as per your project you enter here it will give you discharge fixture unit and it is in terms of liter per second is 4.34 and which is equal to 68.8 gpm 68.92 that's it it is done now we are going to decide the basin size basin size you see here you can i will zoom here you see this is how the basin looks like with double pump and this 300 and this is vent pipe and this anti splash junction this is the drain pipe which is going inside the basin and it is in rectangular shape so 12 inches left default <coughs> for the air air to the to go outside and be safe inside then 3 inches given for alarm sewer pipeline in that to the uh, alarm float 3 inch then another 3 inch is given for lag of float of second pump when it is on 3 inch is given on the float first pump is given on this 24 inch 2 feet is the sign which we have to pump down or draw down with the one one hp this is the the height second when the second pump will work means uh, when this is over uh, when it, the the water level reach, reaches this point this level on float first pump will continue working and the second one one will start working when the is uh, slow down when it comes down it will the first pump comes down then the second pump comes down and then it goes to rest this is the one and this is how we are doing you can see it over here uh, and you can see um rectangular some pump or ejector size i mean you five minutes start a stop you Pump start stop is between high and low demand of the pump as per SP to volume 2. So, first one on and the second one draw down volume of 5 minutes. Volume of some per ejector is 1.3 meter. It is automatically calculated. You don't have to do anything with this. The only you have to enter the data. This all will give you have to enter this 5 minutes time. It is recommended as per SP. You can get to it in 10 minutes or 6 minutes or 7 minutes also. So, and how much person safety factor I have taken? No safety factor. Now, when once you have got this volume, you have height and width, which you can say 0.61 by 1.170. You see, recommended pump down volume height is 24 inches which is 2 feet 0.61 meter but on one can change the as required such as 3 feet or 4 feet 5 feet or 6 feet it depends but minimum is 2 feet required this is which this is here is the 2 feet this is 2 feet this one from off float to on float for for the first form this is the one we are talking here <coughs> so here we are doing all this length width is given and the basin inlet pipe and these all are recommended as sizes 3 inch 6 feet 3 inches 6 feet 3 inches 6 feet 3 inches 6 feet sewer inlet pipe alarm float switch like float switch pump down volume floor basin top 15 inches i am not trying to program because it will take a very long time very long video for that it is already made only you have to enter the values these values are already entered and the recommended hint is also given here 
what you can do and then you have this also removal of the hook this is 2 inch 5 then for 10 inches if it is 4 inch it is 15 inch this one this 15 inch 3 inch of debris you have to remove then you need 12 2 inch you have to remove then 10 if you have 6 inches then you have to take 19 15 will change to 19 so the total depth of the sump pit is 5 feet so similarly uh, this is for uh, some basin ejector basin size when it is circular in diameter how it will take and this one is by JMP pump manufacturer they have used a different method and they have calculated as per this design guide you can go through this once you need this excel sheet and you can see how it will it is all programmed I am not showing how it is curved. you can see these are all programmed and you cannot change this and this is the table by which it is deciding that some bit depth so now <coughs> this is how you are going to size the <laughs> basin size now you have to calculate the pump pump head is calculated by normal method you can have with fitting loss at 50 percent and this is with fitting loss actually calculated this is all automatic you all don't have to do much only you have to enter the how much length and width for example this two inches manhole this length this height this this length you have to enter and you will get automatically the total uh, calculated uh, losses you can see that if i am taking 50 percent it is 2.82 ht and when it is actually calculated it is given by 2.5 pen losses length losses here table for circular basin here i will show you mm. pump performance table for pump sizing here it is same swing check valve gate valve long sweep all it is taking from here it is all programmed it is taking this into the calculation here automatically and then it gives you how much safety factor and this uh, you have you can enter 40 percent 60 percent whatever safety factor you in your project you are considering you put it here and you will get the final selection here is the c pump selection it is giving you now this is pump performance this pump you have selected now the pump performance is given here there are two strategies for pump on all off pump first pump on for second pump start and then first pump goes then second pump goes or down or first pump on second pump then all the way down to first pump and second pump goes down here for for working and this is the pump curve here we can go and check how the pump is performing it is always like this so how many times it will take for working the pump is it is if it is the seaward drainage is to 7 gpm 8 gpm 9 gpm 17 gpm which is maximum here three times this is the maximum 94 this is the best one which will give you the 10 10 minutes time 10 minutes stop 10 minutes start and 34 gpm this is the best for the pump three times it will start a stop and then this this is the pump curve it will give you if you study this from the beginning the sheet it will give you complete details and nothing else has to be done with this one this is already programmed which i have done i am not showing you each and every program that oh this is this type of programming and this is this time because it is a waste of time so if you want this just let me know and i will post it and if i will email you this program sheet excel sheet to you and then you can work your basin size this is for big buildings uh, which where we use it thank you so much and let me know in the comments and hit the like button if you like the program and my watching thank you so much